Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you game 2 of a replay between Insomnia and Madfrog. Now this game is taking place on Plunder Island. And we have Madfrog spawning on the bottom left hand position as the red undead player. Meanwhile Insomnia is spawning in the top right hand position as the blue human. Now this is game 2 of a best of 3 matchup. Madfrog did just um, GG a game 5 minutes into the game after losing his early lich in game 1 on Tranquil Pass. So Madfrog is in an elimination. Madfrog will need to win this game in order to force a game 3. This is once again from the Trophy of Legends. And visit their website at www.shadowleague.com and they're going to be hosting some of their own videos as well. And so go ahead and check out their website. We do have Madfrog getting, on, getting the Ultra of Darkness a little bit earlier this time and trying to stick to a more conventional build and most likely going to go a Death Knight and now dropping a Tomo Relics as well. So a, a conventional build coming in from Madfrog and yes we do have a Death Knight coming in from Madfrog. Meanwhile to the north we have a classic Insomnia going, excuse me, the Archmage and, and going to go ahead and finish off a of Barracks and perhaps finish this wall in with the last farm right here and do some creeping. We do have an early militia scout coming across to try to make sure and each other's strategies and what they're doing. A ghoul is going to come across this militia and they're going to pass each other. The militia has a very fast uh, movement speed and is going to be able to um, creep this out. Going to find that Mad Frog's really not doing or pretty much doing the same exact thing. Getting um, producing ghouls now to get some additional wood and does it is not getting that sixth acolyte. Now we do have a footman going to go ahead and run across the school and they may start exchanging blows, not quite sure. Another footman is going to come out along with an archmage. So archmage, two footmen coming out, ghoul just sticking around, not quite sure what he wants to do. And we have this peasant, is he going to build a, a scout farm? Perhaps he'll build a scout farm in the middle of the map. Insomnia is going to take out these rather low level creep camps, just trying to do some early early creeping before this death knight and runs into this base and perhaps try to do some harassment and some creep killing. Four footmen are now going to be coming out and militia coming in to try to push back the school. Archmage now trying to take out this the, the unit of Mad Frog and Death Knight making a, an, a curious turn to the left, perhaps expecting that there's going to be an expansion attempt and instead comes across Insomnia building a scout farm. So Mad Frog may get a free kill and Mad Frog did not sell his Scroll of Town portal so and still has a scroll of town portal unlike earlier. Town gonna take under try seen. to take down that peasant and gonna get one more hit in. And we have a ghoul attack. now trying to take down the altar of kings, not quite sure why. Archmage is now still sitting at level level one after clearing two creep camps, so has not been really been using his time that wisely. We're gonna have a single farm get taken down by skeletal minions over here to the south, as the archmage is gonna try to creep out um, some more creep camps. I'm not quite sure what he's going to try to creep out. He may be able to creep out this green creep camp and get to level 2. But meanwhile, the Death Knight is going to go ahead and push in on the try to push in on the main base over here with a single ghoul. Skeleton's running around and is Archmage really going to creep out this his opponent's natural expansion for him? This may be the case. Archmage waiting a couple seconds for some additional um, for some additional mana right now. The water metal is going to uh, go down to the timer, but the Archmage quickly drip drops another water metal. Unfortunately, it gets ensnared. And now we have a Death Knight now trying to run in. He did not finish off this wall in. So now um, Insomnia forced to call to arms and try to push this attack back. And the units going down left and right. The more skeletons that drop, the more the Rod of Necromancy is going to be used. And now we have a pure call to arms coming in. Archmage is currently sitting at level 2, but I think this is going to be a miscue coming in. Insomnia should probably try to um, squill or just town portal back right now. He's losing a lot of peasants left and right. All the skeletons that you see currently up. And there's a lot of blood on the ground, skeletons, skeletons on the ground, and this is just a really, really bad sign for Insomnia at this point. Mad Frog may get stuck. Oh, gets a surround with the militia. Oh no, one peasant runs back over, and we should probably try to focus down those those um, skeletal minions. Those skeletal minions doing 14 to 15 damage are pretty strong, especially early in the game. Archmage deciding to run back instead of doing anything else, and perhaps he can take out a couple of these ghouls, try to over commit Mad Frog's early attack. Insomnia gonna finish off this lumber mill and now try to take down that one ghoul that 
Death Knight is not going to be able to save it. And down goes a ghoul. Madfrog now trying to chase down some of those low hit point units as well. And now Madfrog is going to be forced to teleport. But good play from Madfrog being able to take down a lot of units. Now let's uh, see how how Madfrog is going to go ahead and play this. No way for Madfrog to currently get healed, not level 2, and Madfrog wants to finish this. He's going to go ahead and push out with what to, seems to be a full control group of um, ghouls and a, a death knight. And if he go, if he takes down this uh, particular camp, he should get to level 2 and get, to, uh, get the necessary unholy aura. Now we do have a low hit point footman in the mix right now. If he gets one hit on that, yes, he should be able to death coil it. Is he going to death coil it? No, he just decides not to death coil that low hit point footman. Not quite sure why. And now we have level 2 on the Death Knight. Level 2 Death Knight with Unholy Aura now trying to chase down those Archmage and the Footman. We have a single Footman now trying to run back in. Currently, Insomniac rebuilding some units, retraining retra a um, Mountain King and some a Footman as well. Pr should be pretty low on, on gold right now. 31 over 36 food as well. At the same time, Madfog is at 30 over 40. Going to be training his Lich relatively shortly and is sitting at 600 gold fight in the middle of the field right now. Madfrog coming in with that unholy unholy aura is able to run fairly quickly but unable to get any surrounds off. There should be a yeah one low hit point footman that he didn't death coil earlier. Still and um, coming may maybe a misplay from Madfrog not getting that death coil in and Madfrog now trying to run back around, trying to make sure that there isn't an expansion right here, as most humans like to really attack. fast expand. And the Unholy Aura should now kick, kick into place, but no surround on those units. And Madfrog really committing a lot of ghouls to this, and, and still only has two ghouls on Lumber, so perhaps he's not teching as quickly. I take that back. Dual Slaughterhouse is being built, Lich being built, and Black Citadel being upgraded. Ooh, quick Bolt coming in, and now those um, ghouls are not going to be long for life with that thunderbolt coming in nice surround coming in from from insomnia insomnia wasting um, or madfrog wasting a, a, a death coil there at just bad and um, just a second too late and now madfrog is going to pick up that tome of strength and perhaps pull to the back right now death knight not quite sure what he wants to do Reaching back here, we're gonna go ahead and grab that Lich Madfrog now sitting at 39 over 50 and producing dual statues. So those statues are gonna come in pretty handy. Insomnia needs to get an expansion up in order to in, in order to get back the economic advantage right now. But instead, taking the castle. So Insomnia, instead of doing the typical the typical human game and um, where he's gonna fast expand, he's gonna go ahead and try to do the tech, try to get to ghouls and or. Gr gr and Griffins to count counteract those ghouls, the mass ghouls that are currently in play. Death Knight will still stay at level 2, Lich will still stay at level 1, and Archmage uh, just gets to level 3 with an additional forward experience, and the Mountain King is still at level 1. But, uh, fairly good items on both players, but we'll see how this plays out right now. And now statues currently in play. Lich um, and oh, we do have a one low hit point a footman that which will fall due which will fall right now to three um, ghouls. Archmage with a mountain king and three footmen and we're gonna try to run into this to the main force of Madfrog. Madfrog it, it would definitely have the advantage here. And oh a bad padding coming in from Insomnia and is gonna lose lose that low hit point unit gets the death coil off on that ghoul to save it, but forcing the Archmage to go ahead and teleport back to his base. And Madfrog really d does not have any Scroll of Town Portal either. Stay tuned for part two and the conclusion of this replay between Madfrog and Insomnia here on Plunder Isle.